Hi, this is Tudor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 562. Proverb today is, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Okay, so do one screenshot, do it right now, let's get right to it. Uh, if someone says, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, it means it is not always the message itself that is the most important uh, but the way one says it has a bigger impact and may be more important in getting people to pay attention. Understand it and react the way one has hoped for. Okay, let's continue. Although this phrase may have been around for a long time in reference to people saying things in an impolite or uncaring or somehow annoying way, it may have been popularized more by psychologist Albert Meribin. Okay. And we got four examples here to show just how it's used. All right, the first one is uh, Almeria quote, and this is what he said. It's not what you say, but how you say it. But he went on to say this. According to Merbian, only 7% is the verbal communication. So only 7% is actually the words you say. 38% should be the tone, the tone of... Uh, should be tone of voice. So how high your voice is, how low it is, how strong it is, how weak it is, how emotional it is, something like that. And 55% should be body language, you know, how you're moving your body, you know, to communicate to people. All right, let's continue. Number two, uh, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. He got angry because you spoke to him in a condescending way, like you were like an authority speaking down to him. He didn't like that. Um, all right, um, the next one. She refused your marriage proposal because of the way you said it. She said you did it from across a long table in a very unromantic way. She was looking forward to it, but you blew it. It is not what you say, it is how you say it. Okay, good. And next one here, number three. If you don't want him to overreact, you have to be careful how you say it. It is not what you say. It is how you say it. Yeah, so sometimes what you have to say to someone uh, could be a very uh, emotional thing or a, a thing where somebody could overreact very easily. So you be you need to be even more careful how you say that. Number four, if you want to do comedy, you have to learn how to use body language and tell punchlines. It is not what you say. It is how you say it. Yeah, we've kind of seen this before. There's some people that are really bad at telling jokes. They have no good timing. They don't know how to say it properly or set it up. Uh, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.